Good evening, drivers and future drivers. It's me, Kevin Barrett, Cypress Truck Talk Lines YouTube guy. Uh, figured I'd drop another video back on the road here again. Not staying out 74 days this time like I did last time. But uh, figured I'd drop another video today, show you the uh, D ring fold on our tarps trainee I got. Did a real bang up job on folding tarps, so I figured I'd share with you all on the channel. So watch and enjoy. All right, here we go. We're gonna start out with a nice flat, even tarp. Gonna make sure that everything's nice and flat. We want it to be uh, good to go. So he's making sure laid out nice and flat, so he has a nice even tarp to work with. He's gonna start in the middle of the tarp. He's going to pull it all the way over. There's two seams in the middle of that tarp. He's going to go to the far seam. So that he's going to lay it right there about where his feet are. If it comes to this side, he's going to pull it, out, pull it over to the same seam where the two colors meet. This is what we call the D-ring fold. He's going to take the bottom layer and snap it out a little bit so that the bottom of the tarp lays flat. Not all curled up underneath there. I should have taken that top layer and snapped it out a little bit. If you notice, there it's kind of bowed there toward the middle. So he's going to do the same thing on the other side. He's going to pull it around. This time he's going to snap it a little bit, get it flat. He's going to reach under there, grab the green layer, snap it out, get it flat. Because what you want to do is you want to work the edge of the tarp. So that way you don't have to keep walking into the middle, bending over and moving it inch by inch. You want to snap it. Give that tarp a little tug it'll lay flat right where you want it to go he's gonna come around here he's gonna notice that the center is uh not where he wants it so he's gonna line it up instead of snapping it he's just gonna walk up there see that's what i was talking about having to go back into the middle bend over and pull it over again if you just snap it it'll lay flat that's what you want you want it to lay flat okay he's gonna go to the other side he's gonna do the same thing where the colors meet in the center. This time he's gonna walk it all the way over to the other edge. So that the only thing you'll see facing up is blue. You won't see any green. All the green will be tucked under. There's the renegade. Give you a side shot of that beautiful renegade. As we come over here to this end, gonna do the same thing where the colors meet. He's gonna bring it around. He's gonna Give it a little snap, get it flat, snap the bottom layer. Again, like I said, you want a nice, flat, even tarp to work with because the neater, the neater you get the tarp, the nicer it folds and rolls. It makes it easier for the next guy to work the tarp or if you got a live load and tarp, same thing. You'll be able to work it nice and easier. Just snap the corners, get them nice and flat. Now he's going to take... Uh, one side is the open side where he's at now. We call that the open end. He's going to take the closed end. He's going to flip it over to the open end. Just like that. Give it a little snap. Get it flat. Come down here. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to snap this side over. Now at this point, you only want the green showing. So now... This is the only part where you should have to go in the middle and readjust. Grab the middle of the tarp, the blue layer and the green layer, pull it over to the edge, get it nice and neat, straight. Now you got two ends of your tarp. You got your drop in and you got your top in. The drop in's got two rows of stitching on it and it says Cypress truck lines and all that on it. You wanna pull that nice and flat. Then you're gonna go to the other end, same thing. You're gonna pull it nice and flat. So you're gonna snap it flat. Boom. See how he's got it nice, neat, even, and flat? And he's going to grab the top end and he's going to bring it back to the first row of stitching on his open end. Going to get it nice and lined up. Notice that he held the tarp off to the side of himself instead of grabbing it and walking backwards. You don't want to walk backwards on that tarp because if you lose your footing, you'll fall. So he's watching where he's walking, pulling the tarp as he goes. He's going to throw two bungees on the ground. Now he's going to pull his uh, tarp. He's going to do it the hard way. He's going to pull that end over to the trailer. And then he's going to walk the other end over. I would have just taken the open end there and pulled it around to the tires and rolled it up. But 
I guess he wanted to do extra work this morning, so he was feeling he was feeling a little strong wanting to get a workout. So because when you roll the tarp up, you want them to be right there at your tires so you don't have to walk across the parking lot with your tarp. You gotta throw one bungee underneath it. He's gonna get a nice tight roll. He's not gonna start rolling it until he gets it nice and tight. You can walk on the edge there, get it nice and flat. He's work curling the edge now. He's getting it nice and tight. He's gonna want to push down as he rolls. He doesn't want to just roll it and let it get bigger and bigger as he gets down. He wants it nice and tight. Because you want a nice tight roll. So there he goes. He's gonna he's getting it all lined up now, and now he's gonna start rolling it up. Rolling, 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 rolling it up. Getting it rolled up. There he goes. See how he's, he's taking his time, he's getting it nice, neat, straight. He's not rolling one side faster than the other. He's getting a nice, neat, and clean roll. He's gonna, now that he's on the end, the bungee's got laying there, he's gonna attach it to the other bungee. That way you have two bungees on your tarp, so when you go to tarp the load, you'll have one for each corner. We're all ready to go. So we're gonna walk up here and take a look at, see how well he did on this roll. Looks good from here. Let's get a closer look at it. See how it's nice and tight, even. Got the bungee right in the center of the tarp. That way you can handle the tarp nice and easy. Now you can wait for the forklift operator to put it on the truck or you can put it up where you are yourself. What you want to do is raise it up to your waist. Throw one up end on the tire. Push the other end against the tra trailer. Flip it up. Push it in. And you're gonna put it in, both tarps are gonna be in the center of the trailer, on the nose of the trailer. You're gonna want that strap right in the middle of the tarps because you want them nice and tight and snug. You don't want them tarps to go anywhere. So you wanna make sure that tarp strap's dead center on them tarps. You're gonna wanna tighten them up. So Notice the airbags are dropped on the trailer, on the truck. It keep, lowers the trailer a little bit closer so you don't have to lift the tarp so high. Because the tarps are heavy, you don't wanna throw your back out. So here we go, we're gonna, he's gonna tighten the strap up. Get it nice and tight. Because you don't want that tarp to go anywhere when you're going down the road. We're, we're in Irvin, Texas here. We got a 180 mile trip up to Lawton, Oklahoma. We don't wanna lose those tarps before we get there. We'll, we won't have nothing to tarp our load with when we get, get to where we're going. So, he's gonna tighten that down. And he's already pulled his straps on his load. You see all the straps are on the rub rail. None of them are hanging down. That way we don't lose the straps going down the road. So as always, let uh, this recruiting know that you heard it from Cypress YouTube guy.